Hello everybody, bienvenido a todo. Welcome to Vabrut with me, Vabrut. And um, as always, we are in Train Sim World and uh, we are back in the West Coast mainline. Um, and we are going to do a um, something different. We're going to do a, a classic six freight service from Bletchley to Harleston. So let's get going. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. There we go. To set this up, right? Headlights need to be on. Da -da -da. There we go. In well, no, cab lights don't need to be on, but instrument lights need to be on. Turn on the safety system. So we got we got a AWS and oh, I swear to God, one of these days I am going to. Turn on the DSD as well, and da, 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 da. I need to change the computer. So we are a freight train, right? Just, <laughs> just so I know. Yep, yeah, yeah. Containers. Um, so I need to put us on our break timing to goods. There we go. Exit. Go exit. And I think I can turn that off now. Um, ba, 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 ba. So I think I can release the brakes now. And we're going to have our beautiful shiny DB Schenker Class 66. Looks lovely in these colours. On a nice sunny day. But the lights aren't on. Why did, Why does this... They are on. Are they on? They don't look like they're on, do they? Hmm. Have I forgotten a step somewhere? I don't think so. Well, let's see, can I go? Oh no, keep it on one. Keep it on one, let's, let's roll forward a bit. this anticipation of am I going to wheel spin if I put it up to three? Oh, my brakes haven't fully released yet. That's why I may be. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think maybe because I'm facing the sun it doesn't look like the lights are on. But they are on, maybe? Like I think it this will be like a 40, 40 minute service or something like that. Um, I bet. And we are with this Bletchley, right? Yeah, Bletchley. And this is the new East West Rail Link Bridge. There was a bridge here anyway, but they've replaced it, I think. And that's the new station. So, so in the latest patch, this this bit, when it first released, this bit had a weird texture. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos. I couldn't really get it. I didn't understand it. Um, uh, but it was supposed to look like this. So as you can see, it's like uh, an extra part of the station that they're building that will uh, add platforms to this line, which will, it's supposed to, Phase one at the moment, I think, is linking Oxford with uh, Bedford, and then I think the idea is Bedford to Cambridge. Um, but for that, they need to build a new station in Cambridge. I, I think it's like they're planning to build like a Cambridge South station, which will be like a terminus station, because they um, they turned the the line that they're reopening into a guided busway so they can't use that alignment anymore and there, so there's no way to get the train into the trains into that into the Cambridge station so they have to build a new one uh, which is the south estate it's next to the, I think next to like the hospital of the science park uh, so yeah that's 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 what that that bridge is and what that building is at the side of the station see the things you learn 
may not live in the UK anymore, but whenever I do go back, I do buy a, a railway magazine to keep myself up to, up to date. An east-west rail has been going for years, I think. God, 10 plus years that idea has been floating around. I don't actually know who's going to run the services. It was, it was always like something to do with the Chiltern line, as I remember. Uh, but I don't know if that's actually who it's supposed to be. Just Chiltern run services to, to Oxford now. <laughs> And I don't think they're expecting Great West, Great Western also do that, but I don't think they expect it. Maybe it'll be cross country. I don't know. Very slowly accelerating. Oh look at that! Pendolino! Oh not bad. Not bad. Oof. Oof. I don't know if this is my first video since they did the patch update. I'm trying to think because I know I know I've, I've noticed a few more crashes on um, on the um, Frankfurt Fulda route, but I've not had any problems with with the West Coast Main Line. Um, and there is supposed to be what date is it? It's the 20th. There's supposed to be a mod coming out in two or three days. Uh, I saw something on YouTube, someone advertising it, and it was. Um, it's basically the enhancement pack mod. Someone's doing it. They've they've done one for Midland Main Road. There's usually one for British routes. Uh, I think that's like a group of mod modders who come together and put all their mods into one place. So there's going to be um, there's a new timetable being built, um, which is supposed to be busier. There's a um, there'll be the five car um, TFL overground trains uh, instead of the four car, and there'll be five car class 377s instead of 4 car I think and um, what else oh 12 car class 350s as well that would be good um, and then there might be some unusual movements um, in various places so we'll see I'm excited about it um, for the route enhancement I'm not sure what they're going to do I think they, they, there's like they'll, there's usually like more bits and bobs around like line side workers um, I'm going to whack it up to 8 now um, and there's often sort of um, some scenery changes um, just little ones to sort of make it look a bit more authentic so we'll see oh yeah you can see the lights are on when they're in the shadow um, oh is that a pendolino coming? to overtake us it is we just got overtaken by one oh, I do love when we get overtaken by one oh, god flies in this oh, it's like a random burst of hot weather in Madrid at the moment which is sending the insects back out goodbye Pendolino lovely um, yeah, so there's that mod, and then I think the next big release for Train Sim World uh, at the moment, as it stands, is um, the oh, what do you call it? Uh, the MBTA line in America. So, so there's the I don't know what the next British route is supposed to be. I get the feeling from the roadmap, it's the um, uh, it might be um, Preston Carlisle, which is a huge length of route. I only just realised when I was looking at the map, I was like, that's much longer than this version of this part of the West Coast mainline. Um, but I think it's also mostly two track um, and, and probably based in the 80s, not, not quite as busy. Um, but it's, I mean, it, that's a pretty long stretch of track and it has a branch that goes to Morecambe. So that's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, but yeah, and then there's also, let me actually, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do. What I'm going to do because the, 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 the 66 is quite easy and drives itself. I'm going to actually check the roadmap and just check if if that is what I'm thinking of, and that isn't the one that's coming. So the MBTA route is going to be Boston to Worcester. Worcester! Worcester! Can't do a Boston accent, a New England accent. Worcester! Like. 
like The Sopranos. Although <laughs> I think they would, that's more of a New Jersey accent. Uh, Roadmap, October. Let's have a look. I don't know why it's so slow, this website, to be honest. It's always quite interesting. Um, oh, we, we do actually have... We're supposed to have a... the um, Now that I think about it. The... Um, right. Oh, where's the images? Why is this website so slow? It's literally text and pictures. <laughs> it like, takes longer to load up. Then, like, a full art Right, so, approaching soon in the next three months. MBTA commuter is the first one. Now, next in line, I don't know if this is in order of when they're going to come, but the next in line is Preston Carlisle by Just Trains. And then it's Manchester Airport commuter uh, by, uh, I think it's Alan Thompson Simulation, I think that is. And then Cargo Line Volume 3, Skyhook Games. And actually, I, I rate those Cargo Line um, things because um, they... They're quite good. They've, they've made the middle of main line quite a nice... They've padded it out quite nicely with freight. Uh, and then there's a, a, a German route uh, that is unannounced. I mean, for, if this is coming in the next three months, that's pretty impressive that there's no announcement. Uh, the Five Circle branch and, and Class 158 uh, is is on there as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, I'll close that now. Um, and get back to driving. <laughs> Uh, right, the top speed of this is 75, so I do need to be careful of that. I will, I think I'll take us down a notch, just so I don't push it too much. Um, so yeah, Preston Carlisle is going to be really interesting, because that's mid-80s, I think. Um, what will be interesting, actually, thinking about it, is are they, will it have the, um, so, so it's base, but like, the, they'll have the class 87, will be the new loco. Um, which is a, uh, I, I think it was the last, it was the last loco for like, pa like, um, passenger loco running on, on the West Coast mainline. After that, they developed their HS, the, um, APT, and then eventually the Pendolinos. Oh, well, no, the, the Class 90s, Class 90, what, is it Class 90 or 90, what am I thinking of? Class 90s, yeah, the class. They were, I guess they were actually. Um, no, 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 the class 90s were for. Oh, oh God. <sighs> they should really do something about it. You know what's really ironic is that, like, they can't stop passengers just falling up, but they can stop you, like, getting, like, see, I can't move the camera past, like, an invisible. If you go, if you go over, like, go over an invisible wall can't get back to the tracks without going back over it. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to find an example. Oh, there we go. Look, there's an invisible wall here that I can't move the camera past. But they can't stop passengers walking into the, your train. Sully. Oh, no. I need to reduce the um, throttle completely. Let's hope that the friction on the wheels will keep us... 75, I don't think it is. I'm going to put us a little bit of break up. So, yeah, what was I saying? I was saying, yeah, the 87 was like, uh, I think it was late, I think it was 70s, the 87 came along. Basically, when they they when they when first electrified the West Coast Main Line, they did, like, they did it in phases. So they did, like, London to Birmingham and then Manchester. And then there was a bit of a delay while before they finished to Scotland. And... They made a bunch of electric locos, like, I think they everything from 81 through to 85 was, like, various competing prototypes. Um, but not prototypes, because they made quite a few of them. Uh, and then when they got to the 86, that was sort of, like, the best of the bunch, like, bringing together all of them. They all looked quite similar, actually. They all had very similar cabs. And then the 87, I think, was, like, a few years later, once they'd electrified to Glasgow. <laughs> Um, and they needed to add locos to like do all the passenger um, routes um, uh, for that for that part far north. Um, and so the 87 was like a sort of improved version of the 86 um, with a very different look because the 86 has three uh, window panes at the front and the 87 has only two big like this actually. It doesn't look like this because it has a flat roof, not like this, but, um, and it's electric, obviously. 
but yeah, the 87 is going to be a really, uh, really nice logo to have. But what, what I was trying to get to the point of saying is, because there's not going to be any electric multiple units from that era, um, all the local services will be done by Pacers and probably 101s. Um, I doubt the 150 is going to be there. I mean, it could be, but I think that came late after the line, after the line is set. But what would be interesting is if the, if they're going to include the signalling for the APT, the um, wasn't called task back then, but it was something that would tell the drivers that they could they could um, go at a higher speed. Um, but if they've included that, then it could mean that somewhere down the line there's an expert APT coming. That would be amazing. <laughs> Because there is one for Train Simulator, there is an, a, a sort of, uh, I don't think they call it Expert, I don't know what they call it, um, but it's something like, um, um, there's something like um, a, a sort of like more tricky and 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 difficult to, to work than normal um, version of the APT and train simulator so I wonder if that might one day come for, for train sim one too I mean the thing is like trains like that that like don't exist in a working form anymore like the APT model still you can still go see the train itself but it doesn't and probably never will be in working order ever again um, they would be a prime candidate for the kite for like adding to the game um, and if it did work with like, you could make it work with the the and the. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'm getting carried away with myself here. I don't. I don't. I doubt that they might be. That might be their plan. But if it was, that's like a hundred mile a stretch. It would be amazing. Um, and actually, there's so many locos from the 80s because, like I said, you've got the 86s and then everything from 81 through to 85. You could do as well. Um, Although I don't know if they'd have been running up and down in the mid 80s. Uh, I think some of them were retired in the 70s. Um, but then you've also got DLC you could do for like uh, an electrical multiple unit. Um, could do the class 90s as well. Oof, I need to actually turn on the um. I can't remember if I set this in November or because that looks like sleet, doesn't it? It looks more like snow than it does rain. So I must have set it in November. Um, see, I mean, th this is why I'm like, I I'll be honest, like, this le the timetable, we've already seen like about six six trains already, seven. Um, that's why I quite like this, this timetable isn't the worst. And I don't understand what all the, the fuss is about, it'd be terrible. Not that I would encourage anyone to read the forums, but if you do read the forums, you would get the feeling this is the worst route ever made in Trains and World. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it has the usual bugs and a, a timetable that could be better, but that is literally what every route in Trains and World. Uh, maybe apart from London Brighton. But even that is like, it doesn't have Thameslink trains, so it's not realistic. Um, and it's probably it does it like it has its fair share of books. So, but yeah, in any case, there's an enhancement pack and another timetable, so we'll be able to compare that. I am looking forward to seeing 12 car class 350s because big long trains like that they do make a difference. Um, so we'll see. The bushes need cutting back. That cut through the cab. That did. Uh, but yeah, so so that's the next British route. That's the um, Shap Peak because between Preston and Carlisle is where the, 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 you have to go over a big, big hill, basically. Oh, I have to I have to start slowing down now. I don't know what the specifics are for slowing down. Um, um, if they're at actual speeds, you need to slow down for. Um, When you come to get double yellows and yellows, usually I think you're supposed to, a uh, single yellow, slow down to a point that you can stop before you see, before you get to the next red signal. Um, and so I guess the double yellow is like slow down so that you you can get to that speed before the, when you're, once you reach the, the, um, the, uh, 
the uh, single yellow. So I'll I'll drop down to 30 and then... Oh, look. No, I'm just stuck behind another train, I think. Yeah. I'll just saunter along. Oh, look. The snow is starting to... It's settling. It's settling. It's settling. Even though there's still like some sun out. Maybe I should turn on the heater. This silly thing is in the way. You can tell this is made by Americans, this loco. Because <laughs> it's got like this bloody thing right in the middle. You can turn the hot plate on. Maybe that'll warm things up. I don't know if I can stand up, that's the problem. Slip. Ooh. Oh, I guess that'll be the snow. Oh. <laughs> Just me to put snow, put, put, put um, dynamic weather on so it could snow. And I mean, the heaviest freight train. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to stop. I mean, I can't stop because I won't be able to start again. So, like, whatever happens, I'm not I'm not going to push the, the speeds now. Because I don't want to get stuck behind the, the local service in front that keeps, that's, is what's giving us those yellows. So I think I'm going to saunter along at 40, maybe. I think we're only going as far as hot, 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 hot holes then, yeah. So uh, when we get to like the actual tricky bits, um, we should be okay. Oh, anyway. Yeah, so Shat Peak is going to be an interesting one. Um, she'll get to use all the diesels, BR era diesels as well. Um, and going by Blackpool to Ormskirk and Preston, that was a really, really good route. So um, I think the quality will be there. Uh, I'm expecting it because it's so long. I actually think it'll probably be more expensive than normal routes. Um, but that's fine. Because um, I'll be buying it whatever. Uh, and the Alan Thompson Manchester Airport one is an interesting one. Um, another one where people on the forums are like, this is outrageous, how dare they give us a, a, a line that's not very long or because uh, there's no loot locos with it, but it will come with the 323 from Northern Rail and you'll be able to use the the Pendolinos between Stockport and Piccadilly um, and there'll probably be some other layering, I think East Midlands 158 will probably be in there and um, maybe something else, I don't know though, I don't know what else would be in there though um, I don't, I'd be to the London Northwest and go, go to, to Manchester Piccadilly. Maybe they do. Uh, they go to Crewe at least, and they go to Birmingham. But I don't know if they would go to straight to Manchester Piccadilly. Um, and um, I mean that's one that I, I, I mean I'll be honest. The Glossop, li Glossop line I think is the most boring line I've ever had. So I might need to see some previews first um, before I'm convinced to buy it. I might need to see people play it. Um, to get a feeling for what it's like. Because uh, lots of line, because the Manchester Piccadilly is empty, um, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's probably the most boring route in the game, I would say. Um, so if it, if it were like that, then I wouldn't get it. But there, there seems to be method to the madness of why they've done Manchester Airport, etc., etc. It's because um, you just can use the Pendolinos on the, the, West Coast Mainline into into um, Beasley, and the three two threes are used on all the can be used on uh, the commuter timetables. Um, so that will be interesting to see. And what else? What else? What else was on that list? Oh, there was um unnamed um an unnamed German route from TSG. I mean, the last route they did was was near the Talbarn, which was very good. Nice little um, quiet uh, branch line in Germany. Um, that kind of thing, again, from them would be good. Um, be interesting to see. Mm. 
And I think that's kind of all the big news, really. Was there another route on that list? There was MBTA, that, that. I have a feeling there were five, but. But that's American, two British, and. American, two British and German. So yeah, I don't. I think that was just that four. Um, and then there was five circle as well. That gets its enhancement. And five circle is really good. That was a good enhancement pack monitor that came with that. Um, but now Rivet are redoing it to include a branch. It's just been opened in real life. And Skyhook are doing a special livery for the 158. that'll all be interesting and I guess there'll be the timetable will have to accommodate all of this um, so that'll be interesting very interesting but the but the if if the enhancement mod that links the Edinburgh Glasgow and five circle together will probably have to be redone I guess to like accommodate all of that which will be interesting um, but I just want the great Western mainline <laughs> like update they call it remaster oh how I want that that to be like a fully fleshed out timetabled route. Oof, so much. Okay, I'm up to four. Um, because that's how that's that for me is one of the best, better um one of the nice length of route in in the game, in that you could do high speed so well high high speed <laughs> uh, the high speed train services that are um, that take you about thirty minutes at most usually, and then um, you can do shorter well the the um, stopping services that will take you more to, like forty five to to, a, to an hour. Um, and I like when you have both options and everything's not just a really slow commute service or uh, a really fast high speed service with nothing else although I do love Castle Würzburg and that is basically just high speed but you can have freight with that So yeah, that's like, like, like there's still, I mean, if that's the next three months, then that means by Christmas we will have four new routes, two British, a German, and um, an American. An MBTA is next week, I think. So I'm recording this on the 20th of October, and I think it's the 20, 29th, maybe? I think there's a preview on the 22nd, which is this Tuesday, and then... A week later, on the on the following Tuesday, it releases. I think, um, and that one, I mean, from the screenshots and all of that, it looks quite good. I quite like those American Northwestern, Northeastern um, things. California doesn't excite me as much, um, and there's nothing in Seattle, so all of the interesting stuff that exists in the train sim world universe at the moment is like Northeast. Like New York Trenton and um, and Long Island Railroad and what's the office oh Boston Providence and this is like and, and and the MBTA route is basically where Boston Providence sort of does the line south towards Providence this will go to Worcester and that goes off to the west in like deep inland in Massachusetts um, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm driving defensively the rest of the way because I do not want to catch up this train in front. I do not want to stop it on a hill and have to like somehow get the train moving again. I did also check out and see a bunch of mods that are in development, although I, I think they're years away to be honest um, on the forums um, people actually trying to build routes but they mostly seem like they're working by themselves and yeah oh 
we're, we're coming up. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, the problem doesn't seem to be like, say, laying the track. Or, or placing buildings because those bits like I mean if, when you're in Unreal you can actually it's it's not it's not super difficult to find um, assets and things like that that sort of work for what you want without having to make everything yourself um, look at that look at it look at it go uh, but the problem I think comes with Simeograph and getting the, the signaling right because if you make a mistake at some point or it doesn't quite work and you have to go back and look over all your work that seems to be uh, taking a long time and I guess when you're a modder you don't necessarily have all the time in the world so um, when, when it's your business and it's your job to know those things then yeah you kind of you'll make up all the documentation and you'll learn from you'll be able to do it often enough that you're learning from your mistakes but if it's your first time and it might just be the one route you're interested in it's, it might just be hell on earth having to do all of that so I don't envy them but I do appreciate any modder who is making like really trying to make a route if they, and if they manage any of them it'll be amazing Not that's not me being cynical like I said if they manage it I mean but like to overcome all of that and doing it for free and everything will be, will be pretty spectacular but we shall see like I said I don't think anything's going to come soon it's already been like over it? Did the edits come with TSW4 or TSW3? I can't remember. But it's been a long time. Um, over a year at least since the edits came out, I think, publicly. And there haven't been any routes created yet. It's been a couple of... Um, oh no, actually, I haven't seen any route. I mean, I think that Edinburgh, Glasgow and, and Five Circle merge is the, like, most impressive thing I've seen so far. And even then, like, where the merge happens is, like, it's fairly obvious that's where the merge is happening. Because the, the textures and everything go quite basic. And then you're on Five Circle, suddenly. Um, so, yeah. Well, I guess that, that's an interesting thing to, to ponder. But we'll see. So nice thing about this game, it just it, it lives forever. So we shall see. See, this is why the freight service is quite nice, because you're just like pondering, pondering, toodling along non-stop. And you're getting to see all of these trains around you. Overtake you on the fast lines, come at you on the fast and the slow lines. Fortunately, nobody on the slow line can overtake me. I, I, I wonder if there's a 350 stuck behind me who hates me. It's my guts, probably. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. Probably all in in a stopping pan, so. Because I can't think, imagine anything more frustrating than being like a, a big keep running into the back of a slow moving freight train in front of you. Damn these yellows! But then, if he's if they're on these these lines, that means they're a stopping service. So um, that gives me a chance to get ahead every time they stop. Seems to be more of a yellow tinge in in how it records than how it is in on my screen. But it is, there is like a yellowy hint because of the sky, the sun through the clouds anyway. It just seems to be more prominent how, as it's recording. How it's recording. I have two screens. So I have the screen that I'm playing on. Uh, so I am just actually, you know what, I may as well give, use this opportunity to give an upfresh of what I play on. So I play on PC and I have a, um, um, oh god, I have an RTX 3060 uh, with 16 gigabytes. Um, no, 12 gigabytes. 12 gigabytes. Um, for the the VRAM, I have 32 gigs of RAM um, because you need that if you want to play City Skylines 2. Anything less, and you aren't getting anything. Um, and I have a a GPU, no, a CPU, which is 
AMD and it's a Ryzen 7 5700G. The G is like the budget version, like the the like gamer version. It's usually the it usually ends with X, um, but I didn't want to pay an extra 200 euros for that. Ah, the, the one I've got seems to do fine. Um, so I'd say this is sort of mid, upper mid range PC, not like top of the range. Like it's not like a 4090, like 24 or like 16 gig graphics card or uh, an i9 or Ryzen 9 or anything like that. It's sort of maybe better than better than a little bit better, better than average. Um, you know what? I've just realised I was supposed to take part in that bloody alpha test for the for the flight simulator, and I completely forgot. That was last week. I wonder if I can still do it. Oh, it's probably too late. Well, they obviously liked my specs because I had to submit my specs, and they 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 were obviously interested in in. They obviously thought I could play it at least. Um, oh God, damn me! You know what that what you know what it was because the moment I was going to do it, I was like, oh, I'm really hungry. I want to go to I want I want to have lunch, so I'm going to go to the supermarket and then completely forgot. Damn it. Oh well, I'll live. They'll live without my feedback. It's coming out in like... That's probably the next big one. Big game this year for me. Flight Simulator 2024. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. anything else I don't think there's any big other big simulation games coming I've been playing some Steam Next Fest um, demos and that nothing is well there's one game called 30 birds which is very good but that's not simulation or anything there was a simulation a There was like a driving simulation, but it was really basic. It wasn't. It was. It was like I think it was more. It was. It wasn't even BMG or anything like that. It was just like basic, basic. Um, and the precinct. I don't know if that's still coming out this year, but that I might buy. Because that's like a, a bit like old school GTA, but you're the police rather than the the um, the, the felon. Um, and it has some nice, cute graphics set in the 80s in like a fake version of New York. And it's all very sort of nice, not like stylish, but also very indie. You can tell like it, it um, the character models don't talk to each other. They're just like pictures, um, but it but it works in the context of what it is. Has that sort of old school vibe of kind of like, like cops talking to one another. Oh, he's on his way back from the container port to East Midlands Gateway, and I'm coming from East Midlands Gateway to go to, to um, container port, um, gate, London Gateway. I think it's Dagnum. I think. So this, this service is probably... Um, I guess it takes us off at Halston. But then I guess we would the strain would continue by going to the North London line and then going um, maybe even going across the Goblin so this might be one of the services that, that you run when you do the freight on the Goblin um, yeah easy good thought isn't it to think about that but you can't you can't do um, route swap route 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 top to the goblin because it doesn't interact with any of the, the stations on this line. Sadly. But like Wilson Junction is I think Wilson Junction is I think here. Yeah. So yeah, if you come, if, you, if the freight train went off up here, maybe we can stay on it and see where it goes. Um, but or are we actually stopping in a siding? Oh no, we're stopping in a siding. I think. Um, but 
But yeah, if, if, if you come off up here, then you get to the North London line. So these are the North Northern Line platforms. Um, not that the North London Line platforms on the Underground, and these are the Bakerloo Line platforms. Um, and uh, that's the line that goes off towards Richmond, and that's the line that goes off towards Shepherd's Bush, I think, um, and Clapham Junction. And yeah, if you carry on this way, then you will eventually get to um, Gospel Oak, and that's where the freight trains would go off uh, through the Goblin. God, it would be really cool if one day all of like the whole London network was just all linked up as one map. Bloody insane! I don't think it would ever ever happen. Um, not until computers are like. Well, not until they stop supporting PlayStation <laughs> 4 and, and Xbox One. Um, and it'll probably be well into the like, PlayStation 7 and, and whatever they call Xbox by then, days. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to imagine that you could have this, the North London line, Goblin, all linked up. And then on the other end, at the bottom, you'd have the East London line. And then at the bottom, there you'd have London Bridge and the services round through South East London and then Victoria and the line to Brighton. <gasps> oh, the dream. I mean, in practical terms, and uh, unless I retire and have no work, I'll never be able to do, make use of any of that kind of stuff. Because, like, really, an hour, an hour, maybe an hour and a half max is how I, how much of time I realistically I'm going to sit and, and play one, one game session um, for this game. So, again, it's kind of why routes need to be a, not too long. Um, there are some longish like freight services you can do on some of the the that you can do or or scenarios as well. Um, and generally speaking, I'm like if I'm seeing it as an hour or more, I'm like eh. eh. Oh, I think it stopped snowing. Did it? it stopped snowing. I think it stopped snowing. Did we pass Watford already? No. Yes, yes we did. That's that's the overground. Oh. Wow, I really was talking. <laughs> I wish I could take a picture, but I can't take a picture because there's a bug. And I don't know if it's because I've got mods installed or it is a problem with the base game. I haven't... It wasn't fixed in the latest update, so it, maybe it's either... A, a, a bug that they don't know about but I'm sure the people are experiencing it or maybe it's because of the mugs but if I try and use photo mode when I've got weather like this um, it just erases the weather and turns everything clear so I can't take photos ooh 350 stunning nothing's nicer than like a sunny day with snow like the snow has fallen and then the sun comes out Gorgeous. There might actually be a mod for brighter headlights for this. Probably for this reason that when you're heading south into the sun, you can't see them. I'm paranoid, but I'm like, they are on! Oh, look, we got a 350 on this side now. Oof. Oh, does it make you feel Christmassy? Now that it's October, it's basically Christmas. Well, we've got to get Halloween out of the way, and then it's Christmas. Okay, right. Throttle off. We're downhill now, I think, into London, so um, I don't need to use the accelerator anymore. Just need to make use of the brake to make sure I don't speed up too much. it on minimum it's very funny because I've been watching real life cab videos recently and I am very much starting to get that <laughs> whenever I hear a sound that I recognize from this game I'm like I need to press something <laughs> like 
what, and what's also funny is because like now I play this game always with my headphones on, um, because the the beeps and the bleeps and the things were annoying my partner. Um, but when I watch those videos, I use I don't wear the headphones because I watch them on the TV, um, and so he hears all those sounds again. He's like, "What the hell is that?" But then even funnier because then the dishwasher will beep when it's finished and it will sound like one of these alarms and then he'll be like, you watch one of those videos again? I'm like, actually, no, that is the dishwasher annoying you, not me, not my fault. But yeah, now that I think about it, like, it, it I mean, choosing to sit through this, these, this level of annoying noises, I think is, I don't think is very normal. But I, I'm happy to not be normal. Oh, look. Baker Loot Line train. Oh, I wish I could take a picture. Is that a 350? Oh, it's a 377. Ooh. That might actually be the um, the modded one. The 9. 3779. So, yeah, again. Uh, if you've made it this far into the video um, this isn't the vanilla experience you're getting there are some mods in this I mean I've got engine mods to the game that make it look a little bit sharper um, and things load in a bit better um, I've got some um, mods for this route although they're very minor mods then there's nothing that special um, that 377 may have been a mod because I do have a a mod that that has a 3779 rather than the 377 twos that they that they have which is based on the the ones from east coastway and and Brighton main line whereas they also in real life have the 3779s which is more similar to the um the class 387s from the garrick express um and their five car as well but they can't be five car when they sub in like that because you can't have subs that aren't the same length of train oh god Boring myself. Well, like, yeah, I think there's been a decent amount. I mean, we're, what time are we? We're like half nine. That's sort of. We started about half nine, which I think is sort of rush hour E. Um, but we were quite far out from London. Um, and now we're heading into London around 10, 15 ish. I mean, I, I'd hope to see more trains, but I'm, I'm not like. We've seen a fair amount. So I'm interested to see what that mod is going to do for sure. That timetable that comes out two days from now, apparently. I think it's the 22nd, it might be the 23rd. It's quite unusual for a mod to announce themselves like that for this game. Usually, they just they just come when they come. Oh, or maybe there's a, a lot of fuss about them on the on the on the forums, but I don't I don't look at the forums. They're full of miserable people. I don't know why they keep it, keep them going. Oh, oh, oh! We do actually have a uh, red coming up apparently. So I can see that I have a single yellow. Uh, I think that's. I think I might be getting. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have to slow down now because I am. I am on a. Um, will be diverging from the main line at some point. And as a wise driver who must have done this many, many times before, um, I would know, I assume, that like, oh, I, I'm likely to encounter a red at this moment. saying you got a red at the end of this platform. Do I 
which I say, oh no, good heavens, good heavens. this Wembley Central. It looks dour enough to be Wembley Central. In reality this is all like a road and, and a plaza and everything. Yeah, there's Wembley. Oh, it's green now so I can... Saunter through. Slowly, I guess. Because this bend looks quite sharpish, like it's going to be low speed. Yeah, 15, I guess, so I'll stay at 15. But we're on the down, going downhill, so... If, it, if it's coming from there. Ooh, 350. Goodbye. Oh yeah, that, that's the other mod I have installed there. I have the LNWR branding installed. Um, that's a mod. Uh, for both the stations and the trains. But I may have to uninstall all these mods for the big enhancement pack because they might come included in that. break a bit so that I'm not I bet it never looks this nice in the snow I bet it's all just grey and, and, um, and slushy but it would be nice to think that snow would fall this, this level just leave the tracks out, out the top Oh look, there goes that. Is that 350? Oh, look at it go. I love seeing the trains from this distance. Closer, closer. miles sauntering along at 15 well less than 15 what are we gonna see in this yard we got some containers are there any trains oh look there's some there's some overground trains I, I, even though like the Class 66 is like so like there's what about 15 different versions in the game now it, it's like the only modern freight train uh, in the game for Britain um, I do quite like it I quite like how familiar it is I would love though I um uh, what is it? It's a class 68, is it? I'm thinking of. Or is it a 70, 78? Uh, they use them on the. They use them on. Um, they use them on Northern Trans Pen the Pennine Trans Pennine Express um, when they were using the um, the carriage the the, the Mark Fives um, that they just retired. Um, I think you should call them Nova 
five, I think, or maybe Nova four. Um, but yeah, I uh, I'd like one of them. Although I don't think they're really freight trains. They kind of get. I think they're mostly used for like um, ad hoc passenger work. Um, what's the what's the um, what's that logo? Is it a ninety-two? I'm thinking of and the um the one the um really heavy 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 hauling diesel that they built lots of but most of them uh, were never made use of because the 66 came and, and killed off every other freight train every other freight loco um or is it the 90 i think one of them was like one of them's diesel and one of them's an electric train uh, and i'm thinking of the diesel one no, no, no. 90... 90 is the electric one. But 92 is the electric one as well, actually, now that I think about it, isn't it? Maybe I'm thinking of class 60. <laughs> you know what? Like, forget me. I'm, I am... Um, I am gone. Long gone. Absolutely... My, when it comes to tops and um, remembering the specifics for, for everything, I'm like, I know what train I'm thinking of, but I can't remember the actual number that goes with it. But I know it's a double digit. <laughs> so where this is, I believe, is not far from Aldo Common. I think Aldo Common is like somewhere down here. Oh, look at that! Baker Blue Line train. And all the common is obviously where there's going to be a... There will be a new Crossrail stop and a new HS2 stop. Well, it's apparently going to be where HS2 stops for the moment. Um, and then eventually it will go to Houston. Still some dithering. I don't, think, I don't know if the government has confirmed it. They definitely, I think they definitely said that they're not going to take it to Manchester. Um, even though, like, they opposed the previous government cutting it to Manchester. They're not going to actually send it to Manchester in the end. Um, so it is just going to be the most expensive high-speed railway that links two cities and nothing else. <sighs> UK po politics and infrastructure for you. Funny how they didn't have this problem when they were linking London with France. But they somehow linking London with the rest of the UK. That's a stretch. <laughs> I think just two even has two intermediate stops, like in the middle of Kent. It's like small towns, cities, towns, really. I don't think that's a city. Uh, Ebbsfleet is, is a nothingness. It's just a suburbia. Um, and yeah, HS2 will bypass cities like. Um, Oh, well, not cities, really, I suppose. Towns as well. Like, um... Oh, God, I've forgotten them. I... What is the... What's the A that I'm thinking of? Chiltern... Chiltern Railways go there. Basically, the M40 corridor. I keep want to say Augsburg, but it's not Augsburg. Oof. Oof. So on this side, there's Bakerloo Line and, and Overground Trains. And on that side, it's the West Coast Main Line. Oh, did I, did I, did I? What did I do? forget to do? I didn't hear an alarm. Break is going on and on and on and on and on, and I guess it's going to keep going, and then eventually it will fall. That button down here, I need to press. In emergency, strike hard to apply brake. Oh. 
is the brake pressure? Oh, there. I think I've got to get that up to five. And then it will release. I don't know what I did there. Was it, would it be TPWS? But I don't know because there, there's no speed. These lights are pathetic. I'm still paranoid. I, have, I, I haven't turned them on, but I have. It's a little piggy little enjoying. Oh, I wish I could take a picture. I do love when you see a piggy little train at all, well, or any tube train next to a real full size train. Oh, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Well, we're moving. We may be wheel slipping a lot, but we're getting somewhere. We've got adhesion. Get in. What? Where are we at now? Whoa! Just over an hour recording. Oh God! You can tell I want to wrap this up. <laughs> Please just get me to that red. But at the same time, I, I am sort of vaguely just this is going to go off up the um, up the North London line. Oh look, there's a 350. This is the life of a freight train driver who doesn't know how to drive a train. Well, I don't do freight that often in videos, um, but the 66 I feel safe with. But if I tried to do an American one, we would get nowhere because those are slow. And I'm not very good. <laughs> but like worst of all worlds. Oh, it is snowing again, actually. Oh, I want it to snow. Well, uh, it won't. I, I live in central Madrid, so probably it's very unlikely to snow here. It snowed, snowed like once a few years ago, but that was like the first time in 40 years that it was proper, like a meter of snow or something. Um, and um, usually it doesn't. I've ever compensated. Am I close enough? No. You're really gonna make me go all that way? <laughs> okay. This is where I need to get like close enough. But I don't want to get past that red. Okay, I'm going to ease it out with my throttle then. There we go. God, look, two miles an hour is really fast when you're like <laughs> right in front of a red. <laughs> is that close enough? Please be close enough. Really? This game wants you to fail so desperately it's they're like it's literally like come on just put it down one more notch on the throttle's not gonna hurt what you want me to go past that red light oh i'm quite enjoying this right in the throttle 
Okay. One. Oh, finally. Oh my god. That was Oh, well, well, I got a, I got a platinum, so I'm not, I'm not I'm not mad about that. Um, I, you can leave now <laughs> if you managed to watch all this way. But I'm going to go back in just to see what happens to the train now, in case it does go back on. Um, uh, mm, get out. See if that triggers it to go. Start moving. If it does start moving, I'm going to immediately jump back in it, if I can. Yes. Yes, and we're going to go off the map. Off map! Way! Uh, well, look, there's no one even in it. But let's go. I assume we are going to go up, 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 onto here and then around there. Uh, but we'll see. See how far long it takes before we go off the map. Oh, there's an overground train. I'm just doing this because I'm interested in where it's going to go. But I can start wrapping up because I guess we're going to go off map fairly soon as soon as we get away from... Oh, well, actually, no, Wilson Junction should be in map, because that's on the Bakerloo line. Uh, so maybe we are going to go quite a bit far. I actually put on the... Um... Oh, you need to press something. All right, actually, if I can't do that, I will turn off your AWS for you. Because you're obviously not interested in it. Imaginary driver. It's so funny because in some routes you get immediately thrown out by uh, by another driver. And then, and then in others, like, nothing happens until you leave the train. And then they just drive away invisibly. But th this is like... You could see this train when you're on the Bakerloo. It's not like it's, it's off the map at the moment. It's still... Like on the map. Very much on the map. Well, we'll find out when we go off world. Or like, you have gone off map. I, I can't remember what it says. I guess it's going to be around somewhere around here. Oh well, it makes a change to be in the passenger seat. Isn't it funny that you do, that in the UK you drive on that side. Do you usually? Yeah, you do. You drive on the left hand side, like like in in a car. That would suit me because I'm used to that living in Spain. Um, this does very much feel like the passenger seat. Oh look, Bakerloo line train. Which we are going to saunter past. Oh look at that, lovely. This is the most big blue line trains I've ever seen on this route. Turns out you have to do freight and go into Halston sidings. Yes, we are going up to join the Northern Line. Oh, look, this is a steep hill as well. Oop. There goes the little big blue line train. Have they ever done a Thomas the Tank Engine where there's a... Well, there's a tube train. Would it be like a child? Because they're so small compared to big trains. Or, or what, like, what would the storyline be? What would the storyline be? Oh, it would be, oh, it, yeah, it would be he's a child who's like very cheeky and Gordon tries to chase him. And he disappears into a into a tube tunnel, and then as Gordon's about to go into the tunnel, he realizes it's way too small for his loading gauge. And then you do like 
big scary Thomas the Tank Engine eyes. Um, oh my god, there's a big snow drift and we're about to crash into it. Now this is a Thomas the Tank thing if ever I saw one. No, everybody, everybody, everybody. Save yourselves. Oh wow. <laughs> wow, we are pushing through the snow drift. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to come out anywhere. Where are we now? We're well off map. Yeah, we're off the map now. Help. Well, I'll end it there. Um, you got to see North West London as you'd never seen it before from beneath a snowdrift. Um, but yeah, actually, yeah, you know what I'm going to say? that Yeah, it's, I think this is currently my favourite British route. Um, I mean, it's the one I'm playing the most in any case. So... Say what you will, haters of this route and of DGG. I think it's fun. I think it's one of the better routes um, that they've done. And I'm looking forward to um, any future updates. I mean, I'll see what this mod pack is. Um, but I'll also... I hope that they release some DLC for it at some point. I would love another... I like an electric freight loco. Um... But I'm also looking forward to the, the Just Trains uh, route, which will give us an 87. And you can put one of them in a freight line delivery and pretend. They, they did used to be, they did used to have them. And then they sold them all off, I think, to like Eastern Europe. Um, so there'll be something, um, some use we can find for it. Um, and likewise, putting the Pendolinos on, on that part of the route, even if it's set in the 80s, you can maybe do a modern timetable. All these things that I'm excited about because this game is a good game. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you in the next video. And uh, sorry, this video went on. It's like an hour and 12 minutes. Ugh, it's going to take ages to upload. Um, but uh, enjoy the rest of your day, week, month, year. Um, I'll probably be back with another video depending on what this mod for the West Coast Mainline is like. And, and if it's worth making a video, if it's so good that I want you all to see how what you're missing out on if you don't have a PC. <laughs> but, uh, sorry, console people, but it, it just is the way that it is. Um, and I used to be one of you. I used to be one of you. But as I work in the video games industry, not having a PC was becoming a drag because that's where all the cool stuff is at the moment. So um, I'll be... Well, I'll be back. Um, I don't know. I think it'll be that. I do also keep wanting to do Frankfurt Fulton because I really love it. And I quite like making videos of it as well. Um, but again, it's a long one. Oh, and I'm, all, I'm getting away myself. Anyway, what, what I was trying to say is ha, goodbye and hasta luego.